What's up, everybody? If you're under 18, please get the hell off my channel and have a great day. What's goody, family? It's your boy, Weed Teezy. And today I'm proud to introduce Malibu Gold, guys. Listen, when I do my Weed Awards at the end of the year for 2021, right now, Malibu Gold is coming in first place for best packaging I've ever seen, bro. Let me, let me just show you guys. Look at the gold box, bro. First of all, I feel like I'm holding a Trojan Magnum condom in my hand. <laughs> $50 an eighth. Julius Caesar is the strain, guys. Hitting at a whopping 28% THC. Look how that black stands out with the gold writing, bro. Consistently supreme, guys. the packaging man it's the details the details it's look like some hieroglyphics from ancient egypt or some shit <laughs> no cap guys now look this is the part i'm talking about look at the packaging tell me this doesn't look like a a, a, a really high quality bottle of fucking cologne bro i feel like this a malibu gold cologne and i can just spray down and hit the scene smelling too good packaging bro if i do a weed awards guys comment below if you think this should come in first place for packaging let me know if you've seen a brand with better packaging than this got the gold fire bro let's get some close-ups of the nugs Comment below, bro. Tell me that ain't some fucking dank, bro. Look at that. Can y'all see it, man? I'm trying to do this shit justice. Can y'all see this? It looks so blurry on my end, so I know it got to be blurry on y'all end. Guys. Fire, bro. Fire. Comment below, bro. What's your opinion on the packaging? What's your opinion on the nugs? How is it looking? You know what? I'm about to smoke this shit on camera for y'all. Let y'all know everything that's popping. Let y'all know the terps, the taste, how it's smoking. Let you know if you should cop it, if it's a drop. From what I'm seeing so far, definitely a fucking cop, guys. Let's get it. All right, family. Before we get any further into today's video, I want to show off this anime piece. If you follow me on Instagram, weed underscore TV, I'm pretty sure you've seen this shit already. I just wanted to let y'all see how I look when it's being warm, bro. Fucking swag, bro. I'm telling y'all, these anime peeps that I'm copying, this shit is like fucking art to me, bro. I'm like a, I'm like a walking fucking art piece or something, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, also, I wanted to say, bro, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto a lot, bro. And it's this dude named Bobby on there, bro. And Bobby, he's so cool. He's so heartwarming, bro. He's so he's such a humble dude. He's so cool. Don't get it fucked up. Bobby will murk your ass on there. He'll go in God mode, break all the rules and murk your shit. But in real life, Bobby, Bobby has a fucking heart condition, guys. And the fact that he can still wake up and still put on a smile every day, you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't mind helping you get money in the game. Um... He's a cool person to talk to. You know, there's so many things that he can't do and that we can do that we take for granted every day. Like, he can't be outside when it's hot, bro. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, he got he only can come out when it's cold. He can't smoke weed even though he loves weed because he has a heart condition. He only can really smoke vape. Uh, he didn't really give me too many details, but just... Knowing that, he, you know, you got all that against you and you can still smile and be happy and, and, and be happy that people cool with you. All in all, bro, I'm just saying, like, be happy. You know, it's always something. If you think you got it bad, it's always somebody who got it worse out there, man. You know, lately I was going through a lot of shit in my personal life. But after hearing what Bobby going through in his personal life, it's making what I go through in my personal life sound like, like, hey, yo, we easy. Shut the fuck up, bro. You got it. You, you good, bro. You good. You got you got you got a family that's growing stronger every day, guys. We almost at 330 subscribers, or maybe we are. That I haven't checked, bro. <laughs> but like the fact that we're over 300, the fact that we're over 50 people, bro. That 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 was enough for me to know like this shit is real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But look, guys, 
We here to uh, review Malibu Gold. Sorry for rambling. I just had to get that off my chest, man. I know uh, I'm going to have more uh, stuff like that, more content like that, and talk about more stories like that on my um, cleaner channel, which is going to be my spiritual channel. Still haven't came up with a name for that channel yet, so uh, bear with your boy. But all that information is definitely going to be on my spiritual channel, man. <laughs> Stories like that. So if you guys are into that type of shit, comment below, man. Let me know. Uh, I'll start the spiritual channel ASAP. Oh, I'm high, bro. Wait. <laughs> Look, so guys, I know I showed the packaging off in the beginning of the video, but this is some of the best fuck if not the best packaging on weed I've ever seen. I've never seen, like, like first of all, I love the gold, right? And then it has the shine to it. It's not, it doesn't just fall flat like gold. It's like, it gives you the shine. The inside is like some type of hieroglyphics. And then you got this pretty ass fucking cologne bottle right here, bro. It looks like some expensive cologne your girl will get you for Valentine's Day or something, like no cap. <laughs> As you can see, I rolled a little fatty waddy out of this shit, man. Hey, look, for anybody who be like, who roll these and or who think these type of joints are little and all that bullshit, I was watching an interview with Currency today and they was asking Currency if he rolled super jumbo fat joints all the time, like, you know, the big ones. And then Currency was like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with rolling those, but I like to roll these. I smoke these up to the amount or even past the amount of what somebody smoked in that one jumbo joint. So basically what he's saying is, you might roll up that one jumbo joint and that shit is cool. It's really just all for looks because if you got some gas like what I got in here right now, this Malibu Gold, bro, this is all you need. The jumbo joint is gonna have, bro, I've seen people hit jumbo joints and after like two, three, four puffs, they be like, fuck, I'm already high. Well, duh, bro, you gonna be fucking high, bro. It's a lot of fucking weed in there, bro. Even like the top smokers, it's all just for show, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want anybody that subscribed to my channel to feel less than because they're like, oh, weed teasier. My other favorite content creators only roll the fat bats and I just roll these. So I'm a nobody out here in the weed world, bro. You're always a somebody, let me tell you that. Long as you got some fucking gas in that bitch, I don't care if you rolling a point three, bro. Smoke that bitch to yourself if somebody got something to say about it. <laughs> I'm not saying come to, see this is where the problem, this is where everything gets fucked up at. When you show up to a session and you bring like a point three to the table, but everybody got jumbo joints. It's like, bro, just smoke that shit to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And when you, when you up and you can put in on the jumbo joint shit, then you do that shit. Until then, don't even worry about it. Just smoke what you can handle, you know what I'm saying? Or what you can bring to the table. Because a lot of, I've seen people have like fucking a whole ounce and then be trying to barely put a .5 in when everybody else putting like two, three grams in. And that's a no-no. <laughs> we ain't playing those fucking games, bro. You're not about to come and uh, put some bull... Where did my lighter go? You're not about to come and put some bullshit on the table, bro. You feel me? I don't care if it is, guys. So that's where that whole little mix up come in at. But like, if you just a person and you trying to, and like, like if I'm around my homies and they all rolling jumbo joints and I roll something like this, I'm not gonna feel less than because they smoking that fat ass joint. You know what I'm saying? It may be true that they higher, especially if they smoking the same strain and we all smoking that gas, but that doesn't mean I'm not high as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They just stoned as hell. <laughs> I'm high as fuck, they stoned as hell. It's like, there's levels to being high, but this it's not like this doesn't get you high. I'm rambling again, but y'all get what I'm saying, man? When I, when I heard Currency say that shit, I was like, fuck yeah, Currency, let them know, bro. Because Currency ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're a real smoker at heart, bro, and you know you smoke that gas, I done been in the club with people who done roll fat ass backwards, bro. I promise you. I swear to y'all. Man, bro. They roll fat ass backwards, and you'll be like, damn, they got some fat, chunky ass shit over there. And they'll be blowing down. And, bro, I promise you, I used to roll them a little bit skinnier than this because I would take the backwards to the club, and everybody be like, they see it all fat and shit, and they always ask me for it. Even people I didn't fucking know. Like, I started hating that shit. So once I started smoking papers in the club, I was I was like, oh, let me not get the king sizes in the club. That's how it all started, because I used to roll the big king size papers only. But when I hit the club, I was like, yo, I noticed people see this, and they instantly 
play it down. You know what I mean? Like they'd be like, oh, that's some small shit. I ain't even about to bother with that. Not knowing I got that gas pack in this bitch, bro. That fucking butane, bro. This that this that Chevron gas, that 76. <laughs> Real talk, bro. So what I'm saying is I didn't have this, bro. Lit this shit in the club. Shut everything the fuck down, bro. Not this specific strain, guys. And speaking of this specific strain, right off back when you hit it, you get a nice ass taste, bro. Real smooth, but like a heavy hitter, bro. It's like it's like somebody came with like a side and upper hit you. Like <laughs> just, just shut up, bro. Yo, shout out to everybody that's fucking with your boy Weed Teasy, man. I love each and every one of y'all, man. You guys take time out of your day to come to my DMs. Hit me on YouTube, comments. You know what I mean? All the brands that's paying attention to your boy. Shout out Humboldt's Finest. I just caught some gas from them. Some motherfucking peanut butter breath, bro. Fire ass shit. Fire, fire, fire. I'm going to give you the details, all the looks, all that type of shit and a, a review I got coming up for that. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out when I drop some, uh, some when I drop some new shit, basically. But yeah, bro, I sparked this shit in the club. I know I kind of got all over the place, my bad. But I sparked this shit in the club, bro, and everybody be looking like, damn, that's some fucking gas, bro. Ooh, what you smoking? Can you, can I, hey, bro, you trying to match? You trying to put some of my weed with your weed in a the blunt? They all be like, damn, that's some gas. I'm trying to get him to, look, they, they be wanting, basically, <laughs> basically, they be wanting me to add my weed with they shit so they shit can be up. But like, bro, like, nah. See, like, they should be mid, bro. A lot of times, it be all smoke and mirrors, bro. I'm not dissing nobody, but I'm just telling you from my experiences. A lot of times, bro, like, I done been around people who be smoking their fatty waddies in the club and big-ass backwood, and it be some mid in that bitch, bro. That's why they got to stuff it like that, bro. It's like, if you got some mid, bro, you got to make that motherfucker stupid chunky, you know what I'm saying? Just to get high off of it, bro. But when you got some real quality grown weed, bro, some real fucking gas, that loud, real loud pack, bro. That shit so loud that you ain't gotta say a word when you enter the room. You don't even gotta open the shit. It's just, you know what I mean? It just hit everybody knows. Everybody look at you like, with that blank stare, you ever got that? <laughs> be the most awkward shit, bro. You be stoned as fuck in the mall. You walk in, everybody staring at you. You be in the mall looking like that one meme. Remember that little, you saw that meme, one meme? With that little short black chubby boy, and he was like standing in the little fast food joint. He was like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Maybe I ain't do it right. I'm in such a good mood, man. I, I'm telling you, like after I met Bobby, bro, like it just made me feel like, man, let me be happy about everything, bro. I'm so happy, bro, for like the littlest things, bro. The fact. I could even stand in front of this fucking camera and talk to you guys like this. Like, that's amazing to me, bro. Like, it could, like, man, bro, I can go so, I can go on and on about how, like, it could be impossible for me to do this and reasons, how many different reasons, you know, that could have took place, but. Oh, guys, look, I got two story times dropping, all right? I'm, I haven't did a story time in a while, guys. I'm kind of overdue for it. I'm gonna put a vote up which one you want first. I'm doing, I got three really. But the two that I'm doing first is gonna be funny moments. A lot of funny moments from my past time, my past, my like from my past, wait, what am I trying to say? A lot of funny moments that happened in my past. I wanna share those with you guys. Random funny times, little funny moments and shit like that, bro. Um, and then I'm gonna also tell you guys about the time I used to dance. That's right, your boy Weed Teasy. I used to be a fucking dancer, bro. You know all the. <laughs> I used to be a fucking dancer. Nah, real talk, bro. Like, I'm gonna give y'all a little snippet of it. Uh, this was when clown dancing, crump dancing, break dancing, all that shit was in this prime in LA, bro, back in like, damn, what year was this? This had to be like 2004, five type shit, bro. Anywhere from 2003 to 2005, six. Dancing was running LA, bro. Like, it may seem like some, I'm not saying it's corny now, cause it's still people that get down with the get down. 
but like it's not as trendy as it used to be. But like, bro, like back then, it's kind of like if you didn't fucking dance, who the fuck was you doing with your life, bro? What was you playing with action figures? <laughs> like I knew, I knew some skaters that skated, bro, and they was dancing. I used to skateboard, bro, and I ain't. I'm not saying I was ever like the best skateboarder or any of that type of shit. But I, your boy used to skateboard, bro. I was all street, bro. I used to love street jumping on shit, trying to grind that bitch. I was never vert because I never. I was. I, I was a fucking pussy. I never wanted to get on that ramp and drop in, bro. I always felt like I seen people hit their head. I always felt like I'd be that one person that just don't make it. You know what I mean? Like whether that's my whole arm breaking and fucking snapping off and going flying down the fucking block or whatever the fuck, bro. My eyeballs popping out my socket. I always saw the worst when it came to the bird. Shout out to everybody who, you know, who brave enough to hit that drop, man. I ain't got nothing but respect for you, bro. I used to play all of the Tony Hawk games, bro. I used to go after all the little secret videotapes you had to get around the map, bro. Whoever, who, I forgot what Tony Hawk game it was. Comment below if you know which one I'm talking about. It was a Tony Hawk game where it was like a little haunted house. And you could skate around the neighborhood and it was like a little haunted house out of like, I think it would like swallow you up or some shit. Or you can go inside. I forgot what the details was, bro. But I used to, man, that and that one skate park, bro. Like where it was like inside and it was like a warehouse type little vibe, bro. Tony Hawk used to be my shit. Skateboarding used to be my shit. But yeah, I got to dance. I used to dance story time coming soon, guys. A funny moments uh, story time coming soon. I appreciate everybody who saw, who uh, tuned in to my past, uh, my previous story time. I fuck with y'all for that. Guys, new giveaway being announced soon. Stay tuned for more information on that one. There's Malibu Gold, Julius Caesar, guys, in that 28% TAC. Some fucking gas. I really wanted to smoke it. See how it made me feel after I was talking on smoking at first before I gave you guys my opinion on it. And I can say the way the taste sitting on my tongue right now is something that you guys would really enjoy. I can see me on a, a bright summer day at the beach. You know what I'm saying? You and your boys, maybe you and your girls, y'all roll up some good, roll it up in a paper, even in a bong, bro. I should have, I ain't gonna lie, I should have fucking put this shit in a bong for you guys and let you know how it's hitting out of a bong, bro. Because this is letting you know how it's coming out of a paper. But if I'm enjoying it this much in a paper, do I, it's like I got a hint of grape. Maybe, maybe I'm off a little bit, but it's some it's something grapefish in there. Look at that ash. White ash. That's some clean weed, guys. Bro, I got stoned as fuck with my homeboy earlier, bro. My God, bro, we smoked some shit I picked up earlier. <coughs> now I'm smoking this gas. <coughs> Malibu go, guys. Julius Caesar. Woo! Fire, bro. One more time, if you didn't see it. You know what I mean? Guys, I'm going to I'm going I'm going into overtime, man. Far from the time to rest now. We on the road to 400 fucking subscribers, guys. March is gonna be insane for me, bro. I'm literally fucking filming content goddamn near every, goddamn near, what am I trying to say? I'm filming content damn near every day of that month, so. I'm not gonna really have a lot of time for free time, but I'm gonna definitely make the best of my situation. I gotta go hard, guys. I can't play with this, you know, this opportunity I have in my hand. Because like I said, it's not about the amount of subscribers, it's about how much they're engaging with you, how much they fuck with you. And right now, family, I feel like we one of the strongest families on the internet, bro. <laughs> That's right, not on, not just on YouTube, bro. On the internet, bro. Like, the way we interact with each other, bro. 
the way we be vibing out with each other. Shout out to Trippy Dog. You know what I'm saying? If you watching this, Sylvester, bro, uh, one of the subs, bro, one of the weed family members, he was he hit me up. He was like, bro, I see you play GTA. I love your content. Uh, if you ever on and want to play with me sometimes and want to help me with some heist to get some money, I was like, yeah, bro, you with the fam? Fuck it, bro. Why would not, you know? So I put him onto some heist. And me and your boy have been playing on GTA, bro, which is dope. It's something different. It's a different way for me as a content creator to interact with the subscribers, my supporters, my family. You know what I mean? And it's real dope. It's like how I'm talking to you guys um, through the camera right now. Or like if I'm on Instagram live or say... Uh, Say you DM me or something and you asking me how my day was. It's like, you can do the same thing, but we on GTA online. So you can ask me how my day was. You can be like, hey bro, uh, I know I'm not with you in real life, but in this shit, in the virtual world, you can come party with your boy Weed TZ, man. Get big faded over uh, GTA with your boy. Roll some shit up, I'll roll some shit up. You know what I mean? We can get into some role play. We can make some money. Good times, bro. Good fucking times. <laughs> If I do the same myself. <laughs> but look, check this out, guys. This Malibu Gold is fucking busting right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is some fucking gas, bro. We tease the approved, guys. If you got, go check out your local dispensaries. Uh, I highly request y'all. Uh, I highly, I highly request, I highly suggest, <laughs> I highly suggest you guys uh, request some of this Malibu gold. Tell me your boy Weed TZ told you about it. Put you on to it, man. And trust me, from the packaging, like, I'm not throwing this away. I'm not tossing this. I'm going to keep this on my shelf, bro. I love this jar. I got a war. I do. Guys, what am I trying to say? I'm so excited to say it. I think I mentioned in one of my other videos before, but I'm going to be doing an award show at the end of the year. And it's basically like how rappers and rap shows do like, oh, this rapper was this best rapper or the Grammys is give this person an award. I want to do that for the weed brands. And this award show is going to be strictly um, my opinion on things. You know what I mean? And right now, honestly, bro, Malibu Gold looks like they about to take the award home for best packaging I've ever seen, bro. Right off back. We not even gonna get into talks about who had the most gas I smoked this year and all that type of shit. Just the packaging alone. I'm not saying other brands I've dealt with or smoked on, you know what I'm saying, don't have their package game down packed. They, everybody got their shit on the wraps. But this is just different, bro. Like I said, it feels like I had a fucking bottle of cologne or something, bro. I don't know if you guys are fans of cologne and perfume and shit, but this type of shit. And then they got the gold top with the shine on it, bro. That's fucking hard, bro. They right like right now they would they deserve that award at the end of the year, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what brand I'm gonna pick up later during this year, and they might have some kind of Ferrari fucking jar case or something. I don't know. <laughs> but like right now, bro, I, I'm highly impressed with what they got going on. Yo, Malibu Gold, we tease you approved, bro. I fuck with y'all, man. I hope you fuck with your boy, man. No cap. I really do appreciate all the brands that's taking notice of the work the weed family putting in. I'm not just gonna say that I'm putting in because I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for you guys. And I'm not saying I got 100,000 subscribers and everybody giving me all this free weed and shit. I haven't hit that point yet, guys, but I am on the road to get there. You know what I'm saying? I'll never doubt myself. I know I'm gonna get there, guys. And I, and I say that in the most confident way, not cocky at all. And what I mean by that is like, Sometimes, guys, you got to believe in yourself okay. more than what anybody else will believe in you. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you don't believe in yourself, who the fuck is going to believe in you, bro? <laughs> when you look at your surroundings, sometimes you'll see people and you'll be like, damn, like nobody trying to, you know. But you got to you gotta push yourself to get to that level. You got to, sometimes you got to take a break from the partying, all the fun and games. Sometimes you gotta get away from people you consider friends and shit. And sometimes you gotta focus on you and get your shit together. And that's what I did for my YouTube career and my YouTube channel. I, I separated myself from everybody I knew. I made sure I got in my zone. You know what I mean? I went through some dark depressive times, you know, transitioning out of that Hollywood fast life, being around rappers and celebrities and shit to doing more chill shit. 
it kind of put me in a depressive, like a, like a deep depression, along with other things, you know what I mean? Like my granny passed, my auntie passed, my friend passed, and that was all like, just like, bam, bam, bam. And you know, they say death coming three, so that shit had me fucked up for a minute, bro. But now I'm back. I'm happier than ever, bro. I'm happily mentally, physically, and uh, spiritually, but uh, I said, but <laughs> I'm happily missing that. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I'm high as shit, bro. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. Fuck, I'm not even about to repeat it again so y'all can clip this and be like, bro, you a dumbass. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, yeah. Have you guys ever been stoned as shit? And then, like, say, like, like, not even my situation where, like, I was stoned as fuck earlier and then I'm smoking some more shit now. Like, say you was stoned as fuck earlier, and then your friend come with some gas, and you like, damn, now I gotta smoke this shit? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. But your boy, when you tease me, I love getting stoned, man. It's the stoner's chap, man. If not me, then who? <laughs> who? <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all, man. It's a lot of people, man. Hey, let me, uh, quick, uh, shout out to Dope Is Yola, man. You know what I'm saying? I see you, big dog. You got your podcast. You got your, you got it. You got everything going. I see you just signed the contract, man. I ain't in your pockets. I'm only congratulating on you. I'm only congratulating you on what you've already announced to the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, big salutes. Everybody from the weed family. Shout out to everybody from the Push Tree family. If we got Push Tree members inside the Weed family, man, comment below. You know what I mean? If y'all fuck with Dope as Yellow, comment below, man. That's eight years of blood, sweat, and tears, guys. That's the same amount of time I put into photography and videography, bro. And, you know, I blew up big. The only difference is he was on camera with it. And back then, I didn't want to be on camera, bro. I didn't even care about the limelight. I didn't want nobody to know me. I was around too many celebrities. I was around too many people. And when I did put my face out there, bro, everybody was fake as fuck, bro. It was so crazy. I had girls. I had I had everything, bro. I had I had models, I had everything you would think you wanted, you feel me? But that shit didn't fucking make me happy, bro. Cause I was just like, alright. I was getting I was getting girls before that, bro, but at this point it was like at an alarming rate. Like girls was throwing me pussy like like they owed me the shit or something, bro. <laughs> like real talk. So it kinda fucked with my head because I was like, damn, are they fucking with me for me? Or are they fucking with me because I'm the photo G and I can put them in position to be in a music video or put them around this rapper or on this music, I mean, on this uh, movie set. You know what I mean? So, I, I'll bring it, I'll tell you guys about my depression in the story time. Dark time, dark days, dark days, story time, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crazy one. So make sure you got some, some popcorn and like at least a 12, a 12 pack of whatever your favorite beverages are. You gonna, it's gonna be a doozy, man. Guys, this shit is so crisp and so smooth. And it just ran out, man. We at the bottom of the bottom with it. All in all, I really enjoyed the smoke. It's really smooth. If I had to compare it to something, if you ever had wine, You know, wine is like juice. If you a hard liquor sipper, <coughs> and you know, when you hit that hard liquor, it instantly be like, ah. But when you sip the wine, it's like juice, and then it creep up on you. I'm not gonna say this is a creeper, but by no means necessary is this a, by any, by any, by no means, yeah, by no means necessary is this a, uh, wait, am I saying that right? <laughs> Comment below uh, if I ain't saying that right, or comment below if I am. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, this is not a creeper bud. It hit me right away. It kept hitting me as I'm smoking it. But like, it's real smooth. Real smooth. It's real smooth like wine, bro. But like, if you can just smoke wine or some shit, don't go try to smoke wine. I know you. I know you motherfuckers be high, and you'll be like, smoke wine. He say. Sounds like a good idea. No, don't do it. <laughs> Don't fucking do it. Don't make me come after you. Whoa, that sounded stalker. I ain't coming after nobody, man. Matter of fact, you guys don't come after nobody. I ain't coming after you. Don't come after me. But what you could do is subscribe to the channel. Like. Comment. You know what I mean? Show some love. Tell some friends. Tell some family members. 
I'm smoking this bitch down to the fucking, to the tip, bro. Like, this shit like some good ass chicken. You ever had a good ass chicken wing? You ate that bitch down to the bone, bro. I smoked this bitch to the bone, bro. <laughs> but look, man, it's been a blast. Shout out Malibu Gold, man. Really good trees, man. Quality Kush, man. You can tell they love what they do, man. I respect everything about them. Guys, go follow them, Malibu Gold, on Instagram. Tag your boy Weed Teasy in the comments. Let them know how strong the Weed family really is. I appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Have a good one. What's up, so the nugs? Show you guys the packaging. By far, Stizzy has never let your boy down, man. Coming in at a whopping 32.47% TAC, guys.